AITA for letting my father go hungry for more than a day? My family is conservative, so my childhood adolescence was basically hell. I was forced to do all the chores while my two brothers weren't. I didn't come to NC with my parents. Because it's necessary not to cut contact with them. I'm the only one who lives in the same city the others live too far away. On Saturday, other week, my parents called me saying that there was a problem with the electrical part in their house and they begged me to let them stay at my house for four days. As they would be spending a lot of money to fix it and they couldn't afford to stay at the hotel. I agreed, but said that I had my routine and would not be helping my father. They agreed. On the first day, it was pretty okay. Added, and my mom did everything for my dad. Next day, my mom had to make an emergency trip to her sister. Her sister paid for her to go and she lives in another city. In the morning, I went to work and had lunch at the company. When I got home, my father said, Wow! I thought you would never come. Can you make something for me? I just ate what your mother made for lunch in the morning. Keep in mind that my fridge was full and my father knows how to cook in addition to knowing how to use the cell phone, internet, he just didn't want to do it, because my mother does everything. Me, look, dad, I'm really tired, besides I'm leaving here in an hour. It was 6 p.m. He started to complain saying that he would get hungry that I should make him food for lunch and dinner. My role as woman blah blah blah. I just replied, you have hands, you have a telephone, there is the pizzeria contact on the fridge if you don't want to make food. But I won't make it. The night was good and I only returned at 1 am. My father was already sleeping and mum didn't come back. I woke up late, so I just ran to work without even saying hello to him. So I didn't pay attention to anything. As the day before, I ate at work, when it was about 4 p.m., my mother called me screaming saying that my father was dizzy with hunger, because I refused to make him anything and I knew he doesn't do those things. So it wouldn't cost me anything to make even a basic snack for him. But I preferred to let him starve. I pointed out what I said before they came and she started saying that this was negligence with an elderly person who is capable of doing everything. They left before I got home and stayed at a random person's house. My brothers are giving me hell accusing me of being petty and vindictive. Just like my parents, I don't think I'm wrong. But I would like outside perspective. AITA? Father 63 yo and mother 60 yo. Sorry for my English. NTA. Starving with a fridge full of food. Really? Wow. You could have at least made him snacks? Are you kidding me? What is he? Five years old? Sounds like your father is being a petulant child and trying to make some absolutely ridiculous point about superiority by refusing to help himself. Good for you for standing up to them and calling out their BS. Just wow. NTA your father is a grown man. He could make something himself but he chose to get into a power struggle with you in your own home. While they're staying with you. Good for you for standing up for yourself. So what's to happen if your mother unexpectedly passes before him? Are you to answer every little thing? Grown man can figure it out or starve. I'm sure he wipes his own ass and showers himself if he can't feed himself then that's his problem. I think your dad may be famous. I think I saw his picture under the definition of weaponized incompetence. NTA sorry about your family dynamics. You were clear when they asked to stay with you. If they choose to ignore that it's on them. NTA. Your father is a grown man and apparently is so incapable that he is unable to figure out how to feed himself in a modern society with abundant restaurants, markets and apparently a fridge full of food? Is your family saying he is really that useless? 
NTA and 63 is not elderly. Ralph Macchio is 61. NTA. Your dad is stubborn. I would be tempted to see how long he could go. Would he actually die on this sword? NTA you are not a slave. You warned them in advance. Keep in mind that my fridge was full and my father knows how to cook. NTA. So daddy dearest was so caught up in making a point that he didn't eat. Obviously not in awe and both your parents sound insufferable. Of course there's screaming, too because why not? There's always screaming with nightmare people. It's not necessary to cut contact with them. Maybe not but at the very least. Put their manners back in for them. Seems they left those back at home. NTA. Go no contact. Fuck him. NTA lol as you said he has hands. NTA. You laid out your terms for them staying with you. And your father is a capable adult who can feed himself. He's just being lazy and your mother lets him be that way. NTA. Despite your father acting like a toddler. You are not his mother. Be glad they went to a different victim. NTA I'm sure that if your father truly had something stopping him from cooking. Not just his penis and outdated views. You would have been more than happy to accommodate. As it stands. The only person responsible for your father's hunger. Is your father. NTA. Your parents are delusional. If this is their culture fine. But it isn't yours. Or isn't any longer. Then chose tough stay VW, you. So when in Rome. NTA. Your dad knows cooking and there is food in your house it's not your problem if he has an ego. Problem with cooking. Not to mention. He is not incapacitated or anything. Also. You did the decent thing by letting your parents stay with you when the living conditions in their house became temporarily intolerable. They need to accept that they are guests in your house and that you are not their servant. Info. Why does your mom make his stuff if he's fully capable? Why does she say he's a vulnerable older person? NTA. And you have my thanks and gratitude for letting your dad go hungry. He was being a bully by insisting you feed him. The only thing I would have considered was opening a can of baby food and offering to spoon it into his mouth. NTA he is a big boy and can find food in a kitchen. However, if he let it really go as far as you said, I am wondering if there is something medical related going on. Dizzy with hunger should be a stronger instinct than pride. Either way, you had food in the house. Far as you know nothing medical is stopping him from caring for himself. And you were clear up front. NTA. It wouldn't cost me anything to make even a basic snack for him. It doesn't cost him anything. Either. In fact he didn't pay for the groceries so it's totally free for him. If he gets dizzy, which I truly doubt, that's on him. A grown man who won't make himself something to eat because of his stupid ideas about gender roles. Is. Well. Stupid. You told your mom in advance you wouldn't cater to his dumb demands. She didn't believe you. I suppose. And that is on her. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.